Hello and welcome. My name is Claudine Kreiner and I am the Stampatique Design Team Coordinator. I'm going to be showing you today how to create this pen and pencil holder. I've used a lot of Stampatique stamps on this one. It's been really fun and I'm going to show you how I did it. A tube here and these are just recycled tubes that I got from my last job where <clears throat> we had sticker rolls on these and my boss would just throw them away when they were empty. And so I saved a few of them because I thought I could make something fun out of them. So first thing you need to do is have some background paper and I have created a jelly print that I'm going to be using today. And I have actually used jelly prints on all of these tubes. Now with this jelly print, I have already um, doodled on the background and created some design. Um, what I'm going to do is take this tube and measure my background to fit the tube. Um, and how I do that is just turn, in, turn it upside down and roll it in the tube a little bit. And I'm going to want this in the center so that I'm not on the edge anywhere. And I'm just going to make a mark at the top and then also at the bottom where I need to cut this to fit the tube. You can see right there. Okay, now that I've got my paper cut, the next step is going to be adhering it to my tube. Um, I have a tube here and I've already painted the inside black and around this top edge as well. Um, that's just in case my paper doesn't go all the way to the edge. Um, I don't have a cardboard um, color sticking out of the top. And I've colored the inside as well because I like the tubes. Um, instead of the cardboard, I like them to be black inside. Um, it just kind of gives them a finished look. So what I'm going to do with this one is um, I have this perfect paper adhesive. Um, this one is in the mat because I'm only using it to adhere the paper to the, the cardboard tube. I love this for adhering paper to a paper. Um, something that is paper or cardboard or, or whatever you're doing. Um, it works really great. So I'm just going to put a little bit on my craft sheet. Actually a lot because I'll be using a lot. Um, and then, to start, I'm going to start with this edge here, and to start, I'm going to use a, a foam to apply this because I think it's easier to apply with the foam. Um, okay, so I'm going to dip that in there a little bit and apply the adhesive to just a little bit of the edge here. I'm not going to do the whole paper because I'm only starting this off. I want it to be straight when I put it on. And then I'm going to apply some to this tube in a spot. Because adhesive sticks to adhesive best, I apply it to the paper and also to the tube. And then I'm just gonna eyeball it how I want it to be on here, kind of straight or as straight as possible. And then I'm just gonna work it down. And hopefully that's, I'm gonna pull it a little bit to the right, okay. And then you just kind of smooth it out and this will stick and it'll adhere pretty quickly for you if you've applied it really well. I'm gonna put a little bit more up here in this corner. It didn't wanna stick very well. There we go. And the thing about the, the rolls is when I get ready to do some more of it, I like to use this end of my, my um, foam applicator tool because I can get 
really nicely down in this crack where there's no glue. So it kind of I kind of just squish it in there so that it gets all of that glue in that corner. And what I'm going to do is work it out. So I'm going to apply it to the paper and also to the cardboard. And a little at a time is what I do and then I just roll it again. and press. Just press that on there really nicely. And this is how I'm going to get the uh, the paper adhered really nicely to the roll. I'm going to pause the pause the video while I finish the rest of this. That's kind of the idea of what you're doing. So, hold on one second, I'll be right back. Okay, now that my paper is adhered to my tube, I am ready to decorate the background, or I'm sorry, the foreground. So I have some Stampatique stamps that I've already um, colored and cut out. This is Mervyn, and the body of this one is a stamp called Hunk. I used the body of Hunk with Mervyn, which Mervyn is just a head stamp. Um, because our challenge this week over at the Designers Challenge blog is called Swaparoo, and the whole idea is to use two different stamps and make a, a new character with those. Um, so I thought that this was really cute to put together. And then this phrase is by Terry Richardson, I'm not weird, I'm limited edition. I thought that was really cute. So I'm gonna adhere Hunk and Mervin to the front of my tube. Now, I want the place where the paper comes together to be the back of my tube, which you can see right here, that's where that is. So I'm going to place Mervyn on the opposite side of that. And in, in order to adhere Mervyn, I really want a sticky, quick drying glue. So one of my favorite go-tos is Glossy Accents. So I'm going to put some glossy accents on him and adhere him to my tube. And since uh, the tube is, is cone-shaped, it's rounded, it's kind of hard to get them on there correctly, especially if they're a big stamp and your tube is, you know, just round. So it's just not, it's not easy to get these guys on here. So I, that's another reason why I really like the glossy accents because... Um, it just makes it that much easier to adhere them. So I'm going to put a good amount of this on here. And then what I do is I put my fingers where the back of the tube is so that I know exactly where the front is. And I'm going to adhere him right here. So what I do is position him where I want him and then I'll push the middle section of him on this tube and I work my way out, pressing the paper down. And for me, that just makes it easier to get him exactly where I want him. And the reason you want a quick drying glue, something that dries fairly quickly, is because once you press, see how this is coming up right here? Once you press this down, you kind of want it to just stay where it's at. And then we'll get the little feet stuck down here. There we go. See how it's just starting to stay down on this tube? There we go. Him and his little sign. And I've also made a little character for him to stick on here as well. This one's by Magda. It's the animal cube. And I'm going to put this little guy next to Mervin and Hunk. And I think I want him... Mm. 
I think I want them on this side, right underneath that sign. So I'm gonna put the glossy accents on this guy and adhere him right next to my character. Again, whoo, starting in the middle where I want him and pressing outward. And it does take a moment. This is a quick drying glue, but it does take a moment for it to dry. So I'm just gonna hold it there until, a, until he adheres really well. Okay. And I feel like this edge still wants to come up. See how it's kind of coming up there? I'm going to apply a little bit more of this glossy accents on that corner and stick it right down. That way it's adhered really well. There we go. That's going to be really cute. Okay, now to finish off my tubes, I really, I, I the, this, um, background is mostly paint since it's a jelly print and I also use paint, paint pen to color these in um, so I want to I, I actually did that on purpose because I wanted to apply um, a glossy water resistant glue to the top of these so that they are nice and smooth uh, I know that I'm going to be working on these on my craft desk and I want something that's going to be able to be wiped off. Um, so if I get something on this, I can wipe it right off. Uh, I really, really like the Collage Page by Tracy Batista. Um, it's instant decoupage, it's glossy, it's water resistant, and it's one of my favorites. I'm not sure you can get it anymore. Um, I got it on sale at Joann's, so hopefully you can find some of this. Uh, if not, you can use a decoupage or some other type of sealer that would be good on top of your cardboard. So what I just, what I do with this is, I just pour some on my craft sheet. And I'm going to use a lot of this. I usually try to get two coats of this onto my back or my foreground because it just seals better. And see how this is shiny? That is what this will do, and it makes it smooth and beautiful. So for in order to apply this, I use these little makeup wedges. I buy them when I'm at Walmart. And there, it just makes it easy to apply these things. Now before you start this, you have to make sure you're completely done with your um, tube. So this is pretty much all I want to have on this one. So I am ready to apply this top coat. So what, what I do is just put it on. See how it's gonna, it's getting shiny there. And I like the, sh the glossy. You can also use matte if you don't like the glossy. I just like the way that it shines. So how I work this is I'm just gonna work it, I'm gonna hold it with my hand like this so that I'm not touching the front and just apply this pretty thick all over my tube. And you're gonna, just going to go all the way around. And see how all of the stuff that I have doodled or painted or these were put on um, with paint, it's not running. So you definitely don't want to use 
distress or anything that's going to smudge when you put something on top of it. Use, uh, definitely use permanent items, archival or something that's permanent. And like I said, I used a paint pen for the doodles and paint here. These black dots are paint. <clears throat> Excuse me. The, the little circles here, half circles, are paint. So then, once this is applied, I'm pretty much done. Until this dries, I'll put another coat on. And then you'll have your finished product. Once these are all finished, you can put them all together and make yourself the, um, the tubes or a pen and pencil holder. Sorry about that. All right, I'm gonna let this dry. I will be back and show you my finished product. Okay, before I show you my finished product, I want to show you what my base is gonna look like for my tubes. So what I have here is my base. I have painted it black and I've also used the um, Tracy Batista collage page on it as well. So that's why it's shiny. And what I did to create this was I used a piece of cardboard, just regular 12 by 12 cardboard that I've gotten from a craft store. And you're going to position each of your tubes wherever you would like them on this piece of cardboard. So what I did was I put all six of my tubes, or I'm sorry, seven with this little guy. How cute is that? So I have seven tubes and I position them all. I know it's hard to see in, in the video. I'm sorry about that. Um, onto my cardboard. And what you're going to do is use a pencil or a pen or anything you have laying around. And you're going to just draw a line right around each of these tubes. All the way around your piece of cardboard. And then when you take your tubes off, you have this template that you're going to cut in the shape of all of your tubes so that you have the bottom, which is what I have here. And then once that is done, sorry about the dog noise, my dogs are playing. They sound like they're fighting, but they're not, they're just playing. Um, anyway, once you have your base done, you're going to position each of the tubes in that perspective place where it's going to go. And what I use, or what I am actually going to use, is E6000. I've used this quite a bit, so that's why it's like folded up. But I use my E6000, and I'm going to uh, put some on the bottom of each of my tubes and adhere it to my base. So while I do that, I'm gonna pause the video and then I will be back to show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, this is all glued down. It's all ready to go. This is the finished product. And this will be my new pen and pencil and scissor holder for my desk. I just love it. I'm so excited about how it turned out. It's wonderful. All the colors and the Stampatique stamps and just everything that I love. So this was super fun to do. Thanks for coming by. Visit us at Stampatique.com and the Stampatique Designers Challenge. Have a great day.